lot going on. Holiday makers and residents in the southeastern Australian state of Victoria had waited a week. All roads cut off by bushfires. Finally, the Navy arrived, bringing fresh supplies and evacuating about 1,000 people on Saturday. I actually have held it together pretty well till yesterday when I heard that it could be coming back. And that's when I, yeah, had my breakdown and I felt better after it. And now we're here and we're getting on the boat and we're going home and we're seeing our families. It, it has been amazing. The um, services has, everyone has come together, you know, and it's a very stressful time, I know, for everyone. But, um, yeah, it's just been overwhelming. The scale of the rescue from Malakuta was described as unprecedented. Even as the state premier warned people much further inland to leave their homes. If you can leave, you must leave. That's the only safe thing for you, your family and indeed for others who may be called to your assistance. We cannot guarantee your safety. The dangers were highlighted by more tragedy overnight. I am uh, saddened to have to update you uh, that the total number of people who cannot be accounted for uh, has now grown to 28. Uh, it remains the case that two people can be confirmed as having lost their lives. The only structural part was timber. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison visited bushfire survivors on Saturday. We've totally forgotten about down here. Many were visibly angry at Morrison, alleging they were not receiving assistance. I'm only shaking your hand if you give more funding to our RSS. There's so many people here have lost their homes. The Prime Minister later defended his policies, but said he understood people's frustration. People are angry. I understand it. People have suffered great loss. People are hurting. People are raw. That's what happens in natural disasters. And we will continue to stay focused on exerting all of our effort to deliver all of the resource and all of the support to ensure that all of these communities can come through. The Prime Minister has also come under fire over his conservative climate change policies, with many Australians saying more should be done, while the Prime Minister insists Australia is doing more than most to meet its international targets. While the debate over the national response rages, so too do the fires. With many officials worried, the worst is still to come. Jack Barton, CGTN, Sydney.